The CDC is urging states to prepare with an action plan after one person has tested positive for a highly contagious strain of the bird flu here in the U.S. So we wanted to know, is the spread of avian influenza something we should worry about locally? Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in studio after getting answers from experts. Olivia. Chris, UMass microbiologist Erica Hamilton tells us, while this influenza virus can easily spread, another epidemic or pandemic is not likely in the near future. Scientists are now asking the question, what's going on here? Was this just a random thing that happened? Or is there something changing in this H5N1 virus? A recent case of bird flu is leaving microbiologists like UMass Amherst's Erica Hamilton with more questions than answers. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is urging states to create action plans after a person in Texas contacted a variant of avian influenza, H5N1, after coming in contact with a cow. What's unusual, Hamilton explains, the bird flu usually infects migrating waterfowl like gulls and ducks. She believes climate change can be one factor. The movement from poultry to a mammal, and, and cows and humans are mammals, is worrisome. What has allowed this virus to move from its normal host to a host that is somewhat different? And people are working on that, right? There are researchers looking into that. Are, what are any mutations that may have occurred that allowed for this alteration in, in host to be able to, to happen? And at the moment, nothing has been particularly identified. This may seem concerning. But she notes the likeliness of an avian influenza pandemic is still slim at this time. Does it have the potential to move into that? Yes. Would uh, an epidemic or pandemic of an influenza virus be worse than COVID? Most likely. What happened in Texas, I don't think you're going to see that on an epidemic or pandemic level. I don't think that that's going to happen. I think it was a relatively isolated case. She offers some advice on how you can protect yourself. If you hunt or hike and come across dead birds, don't handle them. Call and report any deaths of migratory birds to the USDA. And if you keep or work with poultry or eggs, educate yourself on what the virus looks like in a population and monitor your flocks. With all this talk of bird safety, we also checked in with Wally Lupa at the Lupa Zoo. Animal care director Wally Lupa says while most of their birds are inside, they still take extra precautions. We've been testing with the USDA, Fish and Wildlife, and our agricultural department for um, avian flu and SARS and different other diseases. It's very important for them to be clean inside. Um, in our enclosures, we're always raking and power washing and uh, making sure all the droppings are picked up, not only from our own birds, but from the wildlife. Again, while the likeliness of encountering this is slim, we can still be impacted, Hamilton says. Cases of avian flu can impact poultry and egg prices. Reporting in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.